what we're going to be discussing today are error bars. Now, what are error bars? Let me demonstrate this with a little plot which I made earlier. We have some data from an electrical experiment. We have the current given in milliamps on the y-axis and we have the potential difference across a component given in volts on the x-axis. You're going to notice that all of these measurements have these vertical and a horizontal line on them. These are what we actually call error bars and they are a graphical way of representing the uncertainty in our experiment. Now the rule of thumb for error bars is that the length of the error bar, so let's write this down, the length of the error bar is actually twice the absolute uncertainty in your measurements. I'm going to write that as twice AU, where AU stands for the absolute uncertainty. Well, in this case, my absolute uncertainty in the potential difference is plus or minus 0.1 volts. We can represent this like so. For example, if I zoom in on this first data point over here, we have the voltage or the potential difference given on the x-axis and we can see that our data point of 1 volt has an absolute uncertainty of plus or minus 0.1. So there's a 0.1 of a difference on either side of the error bar. The true value is actually sandwiched somewhere between 0.9 and 1.1. It's exactly the same principle applied on the y-axis as well. If you remember the, uh, the absolute uncertainty in our current, which we introduced at the beginning of this video, is plus or minus 1 milliamp. Well, this is represented once again in the data where the length of um, half of the total um, error bar is actually your absolute uncertainty and the total length let's say from here to to here is um, twice the value of your absolute uncertainty if that's the total error bar so in this case the current is sandwiched somewhere between 11 milliamps or 9 milliamps we're not quite so sure where where exactly that is due to the inherent absolute uncertainty in our measuring instrument. Okay folks, well hopefully those make sense. If there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below or send me an email. Thank you very much.